okay, so I've done some remakes, and the big problem with doing a remake is you always go back and discuss the original. So, I've already hit Michael Myers a little bit, and a lot of Jason. A lot of Jason. Now, I'm going to go with Leatherface right now. I know people have asked me to do Freddy, I'm going to go for Leatherface right now. I really enjoyed the Michael Bay remake, because... When it came down to it, he knew there are certain things you just can't do better in this one than he did in the original. So he didn't try to. And instead he tried to make it more geared towards nowadays audience. You know, the only problem I had is Jessica Biel exudes a lot of confidence in this movie, and she doesn't give off the the woman in distress feeling. I mean, she's great to look at. I mean, no, no complaints, but they cast her well. They did a good job, you know, with even light characterization for her, but she never feels like like she can't handle Leatherface on her own. I mean, she's she's a built woman, and in most of her movies, she's whooping butt and taking names like everybody else. But in this one, trying to be the more like, oh no, I can't fight the guy with the chainsaw, that was somewhat unrealistic. And of course, to make up with that, they actually did do... You know, a lot of the, the larger, burlier people got taken down pretty easily by him. But then again, they should. He's a large man with a chainsaw. And he set up traps. The parts that I enjoyed about this one, you know, I I did enjoy, like, like the hook scene. Something just really makes my skin crawl about someone hanging from hooks. Or having to pull hooks from their body. Because everyone on point in time has had something stuck in their skin... And you know, almost all the pain is trying to remove it from there. Or you've had, like, or pulling off a band-aid, and it's like, it's like you know this is going to hurt. And you see the skin stretch, and it's like, oh, that, that, oh, that's going to be excruciating. And it just, ah. Oh. That did a good job with some of the violence. I mean, from the opening sequence where the woman pulls the gun out of her vajayjay, and it blows the back of her brains out. And then they do, like, the pan back shot. Which was great. Nothing's a better squirm factor than, you're all gonna die. <sighs> and then the car's going, oh, oh, um. And then that pan back through the hole in the head. That and, that and the gunnery sergeant, his name currently escapes me. I want to say R. Lee Emerly. That's what I want to say, and I, I probably butchered it, and I'm sorry. He does a great job as the police officer. You know, the scene where he's, like, you know, helping him throw the body in the trunk of the car. He's like, no, I don't want that blood in the inside of my car. He steals the scene that he's in. He does a really great job on that. So, I enjoyed this one because Michael Bay made it his own. And I never saw the original all the way through until I saw the first one. Until I saw this one. The remake. Because it came double disc. That's best one. And then having watched the original... Oh, wow. The original, by today's standards, is rough. Let alone seeing it back then. Whoa. The lead actress in that? One of the deleted scenes is, there's a scene where she's, she's running and she goes to hide in like a general store. And she's just there just screaming the whole time. So I was like, this going to give me... It's like blood curdling, you know, like someone stabbing her to death scream. And it is intense. One of the deleted scenes, the director didn't, didn't yell cut, and just left her screaming. And it's like a two, three minute long of her just shaking back and forth and screeching. I, my skin is crawling right now because it is... It is super tense. And that movie is such a classic. I still can't figure out why everyone goes it's like Freddy and Jason. Freddy and Jason. They go Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers. And it's ever like, well, what about Leatherface? I mean, Leatherface is a bad dude. I mean, it takes a lot to run someone with a chainsaw. And having seen you know the original, it really makes me understand why. At the end of like almost every haunted house, there's always that dude with the chainsaw. 
Because that sound is so unsettling. And what I love the most is still, it's how the old timey camera. That's how that flash warm back up. That needs to be in more horror movies. Because opening with something like that, oh, man, the original's got so much more going on for it. I still like the remake. The remake's still good. But the original, wow. The original just blows this one out of the water. Not even in the same league. And now I'll touch on one final one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Beginnings. When I saw it, like three black kids snuck into the movie. I'm just, just they were, they were three black kids they snuck into the movie for like ten minutes and they snuck out. If you will sneak into a movie in a theater, and then be like, man, this sucks, get up and leave. You know what that tells me? So I'm gonna tell you. The beginnings. Nah, don't don't even go there. I would say see the original or the remake. Don't see the prequel to the remake. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Cheeky.